Hey, what's up, guys? The rank 33 player in the world is using this new meta Mega Knight deck to munch on top players' towers. Whether it's a Mega Knight jumping, a Bandit dashing, or a Ram Rider charging, this deck always has the ability to get a magnificent amount of damage. And you can always count on an Evolved Bomber bouncing on your opponent's units to accumulate a bunch of damage, too. But when opponents overcommit in the Mega Knight, Ram Rider, or Bandit, because of the quickness of your dashes and jumps, this deck can get right on top of your opponent's tower to punish them immediately. Since this deck is equipped to eliminate bait with Evolve Zap, Bomber, Arrows, Ram Rider and Mega Knight, this deck shines bright at the top of the meta beating most matchups. It's time to jubilantly jump on our opponent's towers and assert dominance. And massive Mega Knight love to everyone that's using Critic Hood Sir Tag making all the hyper videos possible. All right, we got a game against Eric who's got the Evolved Valkyrie in the banner. Definitely not a card that Ram Rider likes playing against, but it's not that bad if we just go for a zap on the tower and encourage our opponent to spam directly into a Mega Knight. You have my full support, sir. And uh, you're not doing that. You're just going to casually, coincidentally drop four Elixir at the bridge and one up my guards, which isn't that bad for me. I'm going to Inferno Dragon in the back because I have Ram Rider for anti-air defense if I need it. Oh, awesome. Very cool. So it's going to be Evolved Goblin Drill, and we have a Bomber to blast it down and an Inferno Dragon slow rolling in the back. So we're going to wait till the last possible second. Then we're going to Mega Knight directly in front of this at the river. Since the Inferno Dragon and the Bomber are counter pushing, it's going to be harder for our opponent to kill these cards. I wonder if we can go for Arrows and then Zap. I think that's going to be our best bet because we should be able to eliminate the Magic Archer and then he might not have a good defense for this, guys. <laughs> He's down so much Elixir. The Mega Knight was stupid, though. It jumped backward. Why would it do that? Mega Knight, you jumped back on nothing. The Bomber had it covered, bro. But I can't complain. Our opponent is already in disdain with no tower left over. And the Inferno Dragon's like, I'm not done yet, Jake. And have put on some work on the three crowd, too. But it's safe to say our opponent's done. He is so dead. You can always be a counter-pushing maniac with this Mega Knight deck. It doesn't matter what rank you are, the best players in the world are susceptible to losing to it instantly. And Eric was no exception as we endeavored to 8,100 in the world, winning that match in about a minute. Yo, we are playing against a top 100 player after trampling the last dude, Clash Trials like Jake. You deserve a bit more of a challenge. This guy has finished like 160 in the world or 153, I think, if I remember correctly. Ooh, okay, so if he cycles Bomber in the back, I am bound to get a bad trade unless I Arrows. Ooh, Arrows plus Zap doesn't kill Skeleton Dragons anymore, so there's no point in zapping this. I'm pretty sure Zap doesn't kill. They leave him at like 0 HP, but it's not enough to kill him. I'm gonna go Golem, so definitely in my best interest to go and apply pressure on the other side. Maybe go for Ram Rider and Bandit, and then try to trample on through with everything that we have for value. So then we can just relinquish our Elixir in the left. Hopefully melt the golem quickly with an inferno dragon we're also a little bit apprehensive about doing that so i'm going to cycle my inferno dragon slightly lower here and we'll see if we can still get a good trade i also want to get an amazing arrow so we're going to go and roll with that on all the bats and we hit the night witch bats as they start to spawn so as long as we don't get three crowned here i'm kind of comfortable with our position so we go for a zap now it locks onto the night witch which is huge and we can go for a bomber afterward notice that we've got more damage on the three crown than i think he will get He's still going for it, my guy. He's a savage. He is definitely not the average golem spammer. Seems like top 100 player is playing with one side of the screen only. He doesn't even like look at the other things that he could be looking at. He's just like, hey, I just drop all my units behind the golem and I go all in. You know what, brother? I feel you. I'm going to go Bandit Ram Rider and I have the bomber counter pushing. You're going to lightning. Very smart play. He does end up dropping slightly more elixir than us, though. I think. No, no, no. He doesn't. He ends up dropping a bomber and a lightning. That's only eight elixir. Not bad. We ended up dropping Ram Rider and Bandit, so that's 8 Elixir, and we had the Bomber counter pushing already, so I guess you could say the Bomber was part of our aggressive play. Or no, we dropped 7 Elixir, I can't do math. Ram Rider is 5, and the Bomber's 2, so him dropping the Lightning is slightly more than us. Alright, we're gonna go for Guards in the back, and we'll see if we get him to go in for an aggressive play like a Golem. Generally, you want to go opposite lane if we can, but I think at this particular position, it might make sense for us to go Mega Knight, and then use our Bomber to blast him to bits. If this works out, that'd be huge. We are going to force out arrows, and we do get them to drop the cards that he doesn't want to. For instance, if we're able to Inferno Dragon, he can't captivate that dragon with his Skeleton Dragons, or I guess the Skeleton King. We're in a good position to continuously apply pressure towards the three. I'm going to go for a Zap so the Skeleton King and also the Inferno Dragon interact in a decent way for us. Even if you go in for that, I, I think this is okay for me. I've learned my lesson that I'm not going to give you too much value here. Instead, I'm going to go Arrows... Wonder if those Skeleton Dragons die. That's the only thing that's scary for me, is the fact that he could apply pressure right now, and I might not be able to kill all the bait cards that would distract me. But with the Zap, I think I'm okay. I just can't let any damage go on the Inferno Dragon or we lose. 
Because if the Inferno Dragon gets damaged by bats, then he lightnings, he can kill the Inferno Dragon, but otherwise he can't. All right, we're gonna go Bandit here as well. And then we can continuously apply pressure towards the Three Crown because we're not gonna be able to take the other tower. So unfortunately we are playing the game the way that he wants it to be played. I could go for a great zap though. Yes, sir. Yo, that's good value. Melting the Skeleton King too. All right, all right. I think he's gonna go in for another aggressive golem. So it's probably better for us to go for guards right on top of that and then isolate the bats so then they just die to arrows. That's the game plan. We're hoping that we can hit everything with arrows. He's gonna lightning on this. We can't let the Inferno Dragon get touched. Beautiful. If that Inferno Dragon died, we would have died. So we're gonna go for Bomber here as well, anticipating our opponent to probably go for arrows. Yep, let's go. Easy win out here. Three crowning the Dirty Golem Savant. I don't know about you guys, but if I lose to someone that just spams all their stuff without thinking, I always switch my deck and I'm like, hey, can't play this deck anymore. I hate losing to no-skill spam. And I feel like that guy was the best no-skill spam player we could have possibly played against. Most of the time when they just drop everything in one side, they're not a top 200 player. So this deck's got certified solid defense. After reducing a top 200 Golem player to rubble without too much trouble, we've pushed pretty far up and also retain our win streak now we're chilling at 7,000 in the world, and this deck gets a double thumbs up from me. So this guy is a spirit, sir, if we look at his banner. I genuinely don't like playing against spirits with Ram Rider because everything slows it down. We want the Ram Rider to rush towards the tower and be rambunctious. The good thing that we have is the Ram Rider on defense against any win condition. For instance, when you see a Skeleton Barrel and you have Ram Rider, you can counter the Skeleton Barrel and get counter push. So that is one of my favorite plays to do with Ram Rider, and that's why I religiously run it with my Mega Knights and my Pekkas instead of running Battle Ram. Sometimes you'll see Battle Ram decks, but just know the Ram Rider is always my favorite. It's so fun to play on defense to offense conversion. Just like that. The exemplifies how you can get value with her. I think we want to go for guards here to protect the bandit. We want to guard the bandit so she can steal some value. And it's unlikely that that's going to happen, but it's still okay for us to go for a bomber here and possibly get some extra damage on the Tesla so then we can rambunctiously ram him later on. Oh, yes. Bomber blasts it twice. That's huge. He's not happy about that. You can tell that he is a little bit aggravated that that bomber got two blasts. Really? Okay, you know what? I, I think we're okay with this. I'm not going to defend that, so I'm just going to go aggressive, and I'm not going to get three-crowned. I think that's the strategy, is just, like, not get three-crowned and then possibly take out his tower here. We'll see how this goes. I mean, we have a Ram Rider and a Mega Knight, so there's no way he's stopping that. We do damage on the three for sure, right? There's no way he's stopping that for real. Like, you overcommit with the balloon, but the issue for you is the Ram Rider and Mega Knight, they stay alive, and they're going to continuously do damage, whereas the Balloon and the Skeleton Barrel, they're easily wiped away with just some small spells. And look at the guards having a field day. Oh my goodness, my guy. Erad would not be proud of you running the Speedy Balloon in this fashion. You got to play it a little bit more sophisticated. You can't just randomly spam it at the river. All right, what are we going to do? I think we can Inferno Dragon if we want, but... Generally, want to go for Ram Rider here and then save our Inferno Dragon for the Balloon. Also, there's a high likelihood that even if you decide to go in for a Tesla like that, we should be able to get a good Mega Knight rolling later on. So we're going to Mega Knight here, incentivize our guy to go and spam directly into the Three Crown. If not, totally fine for us to do this. And then Evo Zap here as well to slow down the Skeleton Barrel. And I think that that's our best possible play. I mean, we took some damage, but it's all good. All right. Let's go Guards, Bandit, and then Evolve Bomber afterward. I think that that's also a pretty smart decision because if you're just spamming all of your stuff and your opponent can't easily defend that without going in for like an Evolved uh, spell, or like it's just, it's tough, you know? He doesn't have Evo Zap, so he's going to get the clap. Also, he's going to Snowball. Okay, all right, never mind. He did defend that. He just spent a lot of Elixir. All right, I think we can go Guards on the left side because he's going to have to spend extra Elixir on that, and it's not going to go towards the three, so definitely good for me. We're gonna go for a zap here. The balloon getting pushed is definitely obnoxious, but it's not the end of the world if we get a good zap, and then we can Evo Bomber, and then we can ban it. This Evo Bomber is bound to do double damage. Very nice. Oh, sick. I didn't realize it would do 1,200 like that. That's crazy. <laughs> Two elixir win conditions for days out here, guys. I'm seriously surprised that this card, after a couple of nerfs, is still one of the best evolutions in the game. You know Bomber is a backup and a reliable way to clean up the tower. The Bomber Blast propelled our opponent out of the game and us up a few ranks to 5,500 in the world. Okay, we got a game against someone with Evolved Barbarians in the banner, an eSports aficionado. So if we're playing against someone from an esports clan, you already know they're a sweaty tryhard. Like you don't have that type of title in your clan unless you're just super serious mode all the time. I'm gonna go for Bandit on the right side and we'll see if that's gonna be the right play. 
I don't think so. He'll probably get kited directly into the uh, Sparky with the Bandit, into the Sparky from the Giant. But it's okay. I mean, overall, it's not a terrible play. It is only three Elixir. That's the reason why we don't cycle more than three Elixir there. Also, if I Arrows, can we kill all of his cards? Maybe? Yo! It worked! We had enough sauce. And now we get to go and dress our guards up with some extra love, making sure that they're supported by the Zap. So somehow, some way, we evaded any responsibility. Zero damage taken there feels pretty phenomenal. I think if we want to play this game correctly, we cycle the evolutions instead of springing through with a bandit. We want to go and seize the opportunity to cycle our bomber and then maybe go for a bandit on the left-hand side afterward. Also, since he possibly has a Sparky right now, we're going to get ready with the Ram Rider. We're hovering it right now. We're ready, man. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. I'm ready to ram you. Okay, guess it's not going to happen uh, with the bandit because he's not cycling anything in that side. He's going to zap as well, so he's spending a bunch of elixir. Totally fine for me. When you have a Vol zap against a Sparky, you're just in your little paradise. You're in your happy place. I wonder if I can go for a Mega Knight with some of the guards. One guard left over on the right side. <laughs> the guard without his shield is going to get supported by a big Mega Knight. He's like, Jake, I, uh, I know that you want to help me out here in this, this troubling time for me. And I appreciate the brother Mega Knight. It's so funny because we have this extra source of damage. No, don't die. You killed my guard. I will never forgive you. You ruined all the nice things in this world. How dare you? This is what you deserve, little prince. Get squashed like a bug after that, bro. All right. He might go in for an aggressive play here, but we got the bomber to splash onto both of his cards at once. So not bad. I wonder if that kills a little prince. It would be a crime if it didn't. Okay, cool. I'm going to ban it off to the side and yo, dude, stop stealing me. I, I said crime and then you decided to do that. That's terrible. The Elton army, we're going to zap it. Mini P.E.K.K.A., it's not that bad because guess what? You don't have anything for the guards of the Ram Rider now, my guy. Also, I hate doing this. Cycling the Evolve Bomber on defense, but it is a necessity at this point. Also, I thought that would pull, but it didn't. All right, well, that's fine. We're going to go for Ram Rider on the right. It's unlikely that he's going to go into an evolution right now. He has to kill it. He has to kill that evolution. He's going for a freaking all-out defense. That is insane that he thought that would work. He's dropping a Mini P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge. This is not Arena 1, my guy. It happens though, you know, if you're a Sparky player and you just don't have a way of setting up your Sparky push in time, you devolve into the bridge spam of giant mini P.E.K.K.A. And that works when, you know, people don't know how to play the game, but it's not going to work when you've reached ultimate champion, ranked in the world. Everyone has been playing against that since the very start, you know, I've seen that for eight years now and it is not going to surprise me. As sir, you get stomped on by the Mega Knight Evolved Bomber Ram Rider Parade. Gary the Guard took us on an emotional journey today. While he's fallen, he'll never be forgotten. And after another win, we found ourselves at 4,000 in the world. All right, we got a game against the Joker. So we'll see what he's up to. Maybe he's going to have some card tricks for us. I want to go in for a zap on the tower, and we had the option to go for the zap or the bomber, but going for the zap is the best possible play with us. We're going to go for a Mega Knight and knock back that Hog Rider and minimize the amount of ice spirit value he gets we actually subtly stopped the hog rider with zero damage taken beautiful bomber plus mega knight i mean it is a lot of elixir spent but it did work uh, i'm gonna ram rider here too since we have obnoxious value with the mega knight i feel like this could work i might also be stupid we'll see are we gonna end up in misery that should give me a shot no i'm dumb i just wasted three elixir okay guys i hope i don't get hog riders right now that was that was really bad. Y'all let me know if you've ever done that in single elixir. You're like, I'm just really banking on it. I really need it for my mental. And then it just doesn't work. And you're like, oh, I'm so dumb. We zap, so then we guarantee that we take zero damage and we cycle to the evolution. So for two elixir to deny a hog rider hit, I think that's fine. It's a thumbs up for me. I spend five elixir, he spends four. I get an evolution cycle, he doesn't. We cycle two cards, he cycles one. Overall, good trade. He actually went ice golem, so he ended up dropping six elixir with the ice golem and hog rider. And we dropped a guard zap so we drop five and we get a much better trade than him however i did waste arrows earlier so like kind of compensating for our bad decision making uh okay ice spirit jump onto the bandit i'm totally fine with that just can't have that hit the tower it's deceptive but the ice spirit evolution really does ruin the game for you if you let that lock onto your tower it is devastating like actually abysmal all right we're mega knight in the back because we want to build up a big push now we're gonna go guards we have mega knight plus guards i think he does get a hog rider hit this time unfortunately we can't deny everything but you know the thing that I like doing with this deck? You slow roll a Mega Knight, you Ram Rider behind it, you have Evo Zap, you've got Evo Bomber. You just got to kill the cannon, and then your Evo Bomber ruins them. So that was the cycle that we want. We want to have our evolution at the right point. We go for our Zap here. I'm going to try to hit the cannon and everything. I think that worked. And uh, wow, really good placement from our opponent again. 
This guy is like no slouch. He's actually good at the game. Imagine winning all of your games and then playing against someone that's really good. Wouldn't be me. That's exactly what's happening right now, by the way. Super, super good player. He deserves my full respect. All right, where'd he go, Mega Knight? Try to knock that back with the bandit. Can we, can we fully counter the hog rider with the bandit? Yes, sir. Very nice. All right, so I think it's probably ideal for me to go in for an Evo Bomber here and splash onto his stuff. I don't know how well it's going to work, but maybe we can hit the Ice Spirit and hit the tower. Did not work. Feels bad, man. All right, we really got nothing. That was really funny if that did not work. I guess it happens. All right, we're going to have to go Guards, Bandit, and also use the Ram Rider on defense against this Hog Rider. It's guaranteed to get a hit no matter what. There's no way we're stopping that. But we can Inferno Dragon to finish off the Musketeer. Maybe even go for a Zap check. It's not really worth, but we could have. Uh, dual lane pressure probably doesn't work very well here, but I think we can start throwing some bandits at our opponent and test his mechanics. Maybe throw a bandit on the right side whenever we feel the right opportunity. I think that's uh, ideal. He's trying that as well. He's trying to separate our stuff, but it's not really working amazingly for him either. We go bandit guards, and then we can maybe go in for a ram rider on the left because we've got the bandit. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay. Yo, say less, Bandit. Steal me the game. No way did that work. I think he was dropping a Musketeer and he just freaking fireballed. That's, that's awesome. Okay, he had the best defenses the entire game so far. And I had pretty good defenses too. But, I mean, we just got a huge value. Huge value. He's fireballing me. Okay, respectful. Respect it. Good decision. This, yo, don't slow down my stuff. It's freaking Mega Knight was contagious and just hit my Ice Spirit uh, on the Bandit. I, how did that even happen? I don't, I don't understand. I appreciate it, but it did happen. All right, we're going to go zap out here. Try to get the Mega Knight. Do not... Oh, it died. That sucks. Oh, Ram Rider, please. Oh, come on, Ram Rider. You had one job. All right, I was hoping he would Hog Rider into that, and he didn't. Feels bad, man. Let's go for another random bandit, because I think our opponent is allergic to bandits at this point. I think he really is. I think he truly is at this point. It's tough. It, it ain't easy. All right, Ram Rider plus guards. Definitely a good decision. It fully counters. He's going for another cannon? My guy! Oh, jeez. Wait. All right, screw it. I'm Evo zapping in the left. I, I want that tower. I want that tower now, brother man. Because if we go in the left side, then it's harder for him to apply pressure there. Let's just go bandit again. Oh, he's got the place. Wait, he understands the assignment. He understands the assignment. I don't know if you guys saw, but he certainly was not letting us have the value that we wanted. I think we have to go Mega Knight on the left if he goes hog. And then I think we're okay, but we'll see. We go bandit as well. He's trying to get some cheeky chip damage, but he's going to try to Hog Rider on the right. All right, let's Ram Rider and Zap. If we can just kill the Ice Gome and slow down the Hog Rider, we don't lose this game because the Hog Rider doesn't do enough. Ooh, if he did get that hit, he would have been able to Fireball me and win. So uh, we barely walk away with the win here, but man, is it freaking close. Unless... Okay, yeah, it doesn't do enough. Wow. That is probably one of the more difficult matchups because you have no way of killing Musketeers. So they can just stack up Musketeers and have no fear on defense, but... If you do get to do dual lane pressure and make them freak out and they ever do a misclick, the Joker will just keep laughing. This is so fitting. We drove him to the breaking point of absolute insanity. And I recognize that guy too, because whenever I'm at a top 1,000 or 2,000 in the world at the end of the season, I'm playing against this guy pretty consistently. It's a good sign if I'm beating players at my skill level with a deck that I just started to play. Our homies got Hog Rider and Firecracker in the banner, so we're fired up for a phenomenal match. You already know if we're playing against another Hog Rider player and we got Ram Rider, we've got basically like the evolution, but for one extra elixir. She's able to slow down the Hog Rider, defend against air cards like Balloon, and it's just a better card right now in general. I think that Hog Rider has kind of fallen by the wayside. It works, but it's just interesting. Oh, wait, what? Dude's gonna have piggies. We played against Hog Rider last game. We're running Ram Rider, and this person has piggies. So you're seeing every flavor of a pig ranch. You guys are seeing the entire farm out here, I guess. Hopefully we can farm a win. Honestly, he might have already lost. Is this is this how we play Clash Royale? We just like Mega Knight and all in. It's so dumb. This is this is actually spectacularly stupid. But I'm able to do that amount of damage already. I ignore the recruit on the left because we made sure that all of his stuff had to accumulate in the right. They really did notice that there was some problem there, so they kind of were petrified and were like, "Hey, we will." Support each other. I don't know. Spartan. I was looking for a start Spartan phrase. Like, they do. Whoa! And then they, like, raise their sword. Maybe maybe that's what happened there. I'm not sure. I, I can't see inside the minds of the recruits what they were daydreaming and thinking of. Or, like, the alert bell that went off inside their heads or in the arena. There had to have been something. Anyway, we're going to go arrows here to mesmerize the piggies. And hopefully pulverize them into bacon. So, we're shaking in bacon with our bombs. I feel like the bomber might shake up the bomb before it throws it. It's like, hey, it's a protein shake. 
<laughs> our opponent might be rattled after that, so it is kind of fitting. I do want to go in for a Ram Rider, but it's harder for us to take the tower instead of using arrows. I, I think I think we want to use arrows, but we also have to arrows on top of the evolved archers, right? Like there is some issues here. Oh, never mind, man, it just stole it. Okay, I guess we win. <laughs> Easy W. It's only fitting that we went full circle with a fast win at the start and at the end. Give a mega mash the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe for more daily content and have an amazing rest of your day.